Hi, so I've got my Fender 64 Vibroverb custom reissue and my Rajani VOD50 combo behind me. I've got the Fender set with a volume at around 10% of rotation, so that corresponds to just pass 2 on the control. And I've got the VOD50 at around 50% rotation on the volume control. They're both around the same volume in the room. So how can that be? They're both 50 watt amps, but that one is the same volume as that one with the vol with the control set at 2 over there and set at noon over there. Well, the reason is, well one of the reasons at least, is that Fender use a linear volume control, whereas I use a log volume control or an audio taper log, um, volume control on the VOD50. So a volume control is also sometimes called a volume pot, and the pot stands for potentiometer, short for potentiometer. And a potentiometer is a variable resistor, so in a linear pot the resistance varies in a linear fashion relative to the uh, degrees of rotation of the control. Whereas in a log pot the resistance varies in an exponential fashion uh, relative to the degrees of rotation of the control. So it's a bit confusing that that it's exponential rather than logarithmic because it's a log pot, right? But actually it's our hearing that's logarithmic. So the sensitivity to volume of our hearing is logarithmic. And an exponential is the inverse of a logarithm. So the exponential relationship in the pot actually cancels the logarithmic sensitivity of our hearing to produce a nice linear relationship uh, that we can actually hear, and that's described in decibels. A decibel scale is a logarithmic scale corresponding to uh, what we hear. And so it sounds, a pot like this sounds linear, whereas a pot like this sounds logarithmic. And so a linear pot actually sounds logarithmic, whereas a log pot sounds linear. Confusing, isn't it? Anyway. So what does it all mean, right? It's a bit technical, but what does it really mean when it comes down to it? Well, what it means is that this amp is going to achieve 90% of its volume at around 3 or 4 on the volume control, whereas this amp is going to achieve 90% of its volume at 90% of rotation of the control. So, you know, it's a massive difference there. So people often criticize um, these linear type volume controls for being really hard to use and in particular it's really hard to dial in a bedroom level. Now if you want to dial in bedroom level on a log pot, you know, easy right? But on this, I mean, you've literally got between two and two and a half. You've got, you know, <laughs> a couple of degrees to to get to dial in that level, that kind of volume. Whereas here, you you can really get it much more easily. But obviously, if you can sell more amps with a linear pot because it just makes it seem so much louder, then you know it's going to be hard for an amp manufacturer to change that. Although I think now that people aren't auditioning amps in shops so much anymore as just buying them online, I think, the, I think they are starting to change. So what's the expression? A graph speaks a thousand words? Well, here's a graph. The x-axis is the degrees of rotation. The y-axis is the perceived loudness. The blue line corresponds to the log pot and the black line corresponds to the linear pot. Uh, as you can see, the log pot has a nice linear relationship on this graph, and the linear pot has a logarithmic relationship on this graph. And that's because the uh, y-axis has a logarithmic scale, so it does actually make sense. So now at 10% rotation, the log pot gives us 10% of perceived loudness, whereas the linear pot gives us 50% of perceived loudness at 10% rotation. So 
it sounds pretty damn loud already at 10% rotation. So you can see how steep the graph is on the linear part in the first 10% of rotation. And that's really a graphical representation of why it's so hard to dial in a bedroom level with a linear pot. At 50% um, rotation, the log pot gives you 50% loudness, which is what you would expect, but the linear pot gives you 85% loudness. So it's almost at full volume there, you know, it's not got that far to go. Well, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. Check me out on Instagram at Rajani Amps. Check me out online at rajaniamps.com and I hope to see you next time.